Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Menace Cycling. This is a review on the Rafa cargo bibs, which I have actually ripped a pair recently. I feel really bad about that. I know I said that I was gonna do an episode every single week, but um, this nigga was clearly lying. But I'm back on my bullshit and I will be giving you an episode at least once a month. Stop the cow. <laughs> I think every week is a little, uh, a, a, a little reaching for me right now, but hey, try my best. Um, I recently got a pair of cargo shorts, cargo bib shorts from Rafa that I really like. Um, but like I said in the beginning, I, I ripped them. They're, they're kaputskis. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Now talking about the first thing, which is fit, right? Now these are the Rafa cargo bib shorts. They're not the core cargo bib shorts. And I'm coming from the core line and I had no idea what the difference was, but I can tell you unequivocally now, if you're thinking about doing core, but if you can save a little bit about a little bit of money and go for the regular, I would save the money and go for the regular. The fit quality is tremendously better on the regular kind of classic series than it is on the core series. And I'll explain to you where for me personally that comes down to. There's a weird Obviously cycling is a range of motion, right? You have to be pretty flexible. You have to be able to move your legs. I have this problem and I'm about 6'2", 250 pounds. Damn boy, he thick, boy! But you know, I've, I've gained a little bit of weight. When I'm riding at peak, I'm about maybe 190 pounds. Kick, when I bring my knees up and push them down, where I'm wearing the cores, there's a weird feeling on my, my pelvic area where it's just like, I don't have that extra range of motion that I'm looking for. With these classic series cargo bibs, it's, it's, it's way better. It, it's way more comfortable. There's less pressure in that area. It just feels great overall. So that's a really big thing. It doesn't feel like it's cutting into your hips as much. I really feel like I'm able to move up and down more freely. So that's a big thing, especially for me, because the biggest thing about riding a bike that I, most of you who hopefully are riding bikes know or you know will know in the future is, if you have to think about your gear, if you have to think about you know your, your shoes, if you have to think about something on your bike, it's not right, right? Cycling should be one of those things that you get lost in, right? Unless you're climbing, then you're very present. But for the most part, when you're cycling, you should, should be gliding. So if you're thinking like, oh man, my shoe hurts a little bit, or if you think, oh man, my, my, my bibs are chafing me or you know, itching me in a certain way, it's probably because you don't have the right fit. So yeah, for me, uh, I will never go back to the core series. And I'm not knocking the core series, but I think just for me personally, comfort is paramount. And because of that, I will be using the classic series from now on. Now moving on to another part of the fit, which is the straps. Now, another thing, and I comparing it to the core series so much, because I think a lot of people are workshopping against, you know, do I go for the core, which is cheaper entry level, or do I spend the money and get the classic series? The straps on the core always used to dig in and, and would itch and would, they were just so uncomfortable. And I can tell you right now that the straps on the classic series, I don't even know they're there. They're pretty seamless. I, 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 I can ride my bike all day and it was great. You know, I had full range of motion. I could move my arms. I can go back and forth and it was great. It was absolutely great. So for me, I'm a big fan of the classic series straps. I think that if you were someone who is bothered by straps, you should definitely go with the classic series over the core series. Now let's talk about the big feature on the cargo bib shorts, which is the cargo portion. It's the pockets, the pocky wockets. Um, great feature. The pockets, because it, it's not just the pockets you have on both sides. Let's see if I can show you here on the camera. There's a pocket, um, I mean, obviously this is the bibs, the booty bib part, all right? There's a pocket here and there's a pocket here, but then there's also, is this the right size? There are also these two pockets in the back, just like that, right? This has been a game changer because I'm slowly getting back into cycling and I don't wanna put on, honestly, the worst part about cycling to me is putting on my gear. So for me, if I don't have to put on a jersey, live in. So I can put on this cargo bib, put on a hoodie and I'm chilling, right? I don't have to put on an extra jersey. So I don't have to put on a jersey so I have to reach into my back pockets. Also, it's a little tricky to reach into your back pockets. For some reason, the way they designed and engineered this, these pockets on the back here are super easy to get into. So yeah, that's another bonus. The, the pockets, the part of it that makes it the cargo, best part of it. I think every bib going forward should be a cargo bib, but that's just me. Even if, and, and you know, you can steal this idea, Rafa, 
even on the you know the the pro teams the really fitted ones you don't have to have these pockets but if you have these back pockets in there absolute game changer they're super deep so yeah that is the pocket feature of there now here comes the trickier part right it is the cost it's about 270 dollars compared to i believe what the cores are are 150 dollars now that's a steep uptick. What is that? A uh, hundred and twenty dollars. This is—I'll tell you how I told myself when I was in the Rafa store. Is there a price to put on comfort and performance? And if the answer for you is yes, go with the core. If the answer for you is no, go with the classic. And that's—it's as simple as that. Um, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I only—I'm not disappointed in my purchase. The only thing I'm disappointed in it is that I crashed. And I don't know if you can see it. There's a, uh, where is it? There's a, there's a hole right here. And I'm gonna, Rafa has a really good program for repairs. I'm gonna go and have them repair that hopefully for me. So hopefully that won't be a hole for much longer. Use case scenarios. I use them all the time. The only times I can see myself not using them is on colder days. And for colder days, I have another pair of bib shorts that are like the full pants. I hate the cold. I can't ride if my legs are cold, so it's gonna be kind of a big issue. I can't really ride in the cold with something like this. I have to have the long pants. But other than that, I can use this in every single use case scenario that I can think of. Climbing, it doesn't drag. I don't feel any drag. I, the most important thing is I don't feel the jersey there. And I think that's the most important part is I love it for its utility, but I don't feel it on me. I don't have any restrictions on my ability to move my legs. I don't have any restrictions in terms of straps. The sizing fits well. The most important thing for us guys, right in the Gucci Woochie, amazing. I don't really feel any pressure. Um, every once in a while I have to get out of my saddle, but I think that's just normal for everyone. But it, it, I don't have extreme Gooch pressure. It's, it's a real, you know, solid down there. It's the perfect padding. I, it's a, definitely a step up in padding over the core series by far. So if you're having Gooch issues, by all means, I recommend you get the Classic Series, but overall, it's a really solid bib. There's nothing I can say about it that I'm complaining about too much. Would I buy it again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. Right now, I crashed my bike, so I'm not really riding, so I don't have a need to buy another one of these. I actually have to get this one sent off to Rafa uh, to get it repaired. But other than that, it's like, I'm, I'm chilling. I, I love them. They're a great purchase. They're a great buy. If you have the money, if you have, this is how, this is kind of my hierarchy. If you have the money, get the cargo over the regular in any case. Whatever you're buying, whether it's core, whether it's flyweight, whether it's classic, whether it's protein, get the cargo over the regular. You want those pockets. It makes life so much easier. Now, if you're asking me personally, I can't fit into protein. I'm not built like that. I'm real thick, right? And it's not really for thick dudes like that. Core, it's just too uncomfortable for me. It's too much pressure on my pelvis. I don't have the really good range of motions. The straps hurt me a little bit. For me, classic is right that sweet spot. If you're looking for a solid bib that might be, you know, a little pricey but definitely worth it, I would definitely go for the the Rafa Cargo bib shorts. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.